All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to change the color of the Razer Ornata. So first you go here, then you go here, then you go to Razer Central, and you go to My Apps. Razer Sign Apps, and this should pop up. And now I'm going to show you my keyboard. So this is what my keyboard looks like. So let's start with the first color ambient awareness ambient awareness is basically this uh white color and then these different shapes just makes it more blue in that region like it's a different white it's a little darker so that's what that does you see it gives it a little bit more blue we change it it does shift a bit so it lights up the area that needs more lighting. Next is audio meter. So audio meter moves when there's audio. So we're gonna go to YouTube. I look at something and you can change the color boost, whatever, higher or lower. So let's go to YouTube. YouTube. Jason test. So that's how the light buttons sound like. WSD. Alright, I gotta redo that. Oh, I may have just edited it out. So yeah, that's what that one does. And next with the razor central. Go back, turn this on, boom. It's there now. So next we're gonna do breathing. So we're gonna do some breathing. Breathes. So it's breathing. Next is fire setting. It looks like fire. It's beautiful. Next is reactive. So it moves when you start typing. See the little areas, it turns green. Next is ripple where it moves around. The faster you type, the more ripples it gets. Next is spectrum where it goes into one color for like two or three seconds and it's like a rainbow, but it's one solid color, so it keeps on changing colors. So that's what that does. Next is starlight, where it has random lighting up places on the keyboard, like a spaceship kind of. And I have a static, you can do like one color and make it like red, gray. No, watch me zero. Hold on, let me do zero. So black is white. There's a so there's not really a black. We do wave. Rainbow Road, right side, and then the Rainbow Road, the right side. And you can lower the brightness right here. Less bright. Actually, it's better with lower colors, so you can see the colors better. Make it 50%. Try to autofocus. And then lastly, there's a color wheel, which is like pastels. Give it a minute. Pretty cool. Goes circular, counterclockwise, clockwise, versus straight down one way. And now we go to advanced effects. So Chroma Studio. I'm gonna show you my settings. On my keyboard. So turn this one on. So this is Ripple. Oh wait, 
it's not working. Now it's working. It looks like that. Turns off and this is my settings. So it's like little blood. You see that little blood? So this looks like uh, Adios, a cocktail drink. So I show you my settings. So this is the reactive. So edit it. Do like any color. I made it red. Color wheels right here on the right hand corner, and you can change whatever effect you want. You can like add all the effects you want. You can group them. So you can like select certain parts. Like this part's a certain color, or WASD is a certain color. Like I'll just make this maybe solid. Let's see, static. Can make this. I'll just make this solid or something. No, let's make it white. Try that. I don't know why it's red. Oh wait, because the effect is still, we gotta disable that effect. So... Static should be working. Okay, now it's lighting up these four regions for WASD. It looks like a, uh, uh, it's like this kind of a color, it's like that, like smearing. But I don't like it, so let's go back to my settings and delete this guy. Trash it. Enable these. I like this setting. Setting. It looks like uh, a white flame. It's like purple and blue. And a little bit of bleeding. A little blood. So these are my settings. So it's uh, ripple, reactive, fire. So my fire settings is this blue and purple light blue you can change the color you want but fire is my favorite setting and you could choose like whatever keys you could choose all or you go I want this key this key this key this key this key so yeah um, thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoy this tutorial and hit a like and subscribe peace